Hey all, uh, some viewers have been asking me how I install my AMD uh, proprietary uh, drivers, the Catalyst drivers. Um, and I'm going to assume that this is on a new install on your computers, That mean meaning that you haven't installed the uh, open drivers, the XF86 uh, video ATI drivers. So uh, it's tough for me to uh, show you because I don't have a camera to show you in real time how I do that unfortunately uh, but I did make some notes which I will upload to a couple of sites so you can look them over so uh, I'll do a look for that there it is. okay um, so you would open uh, two terminals the first terminal you have open is as a non uh, non root user, okay. So just pretend this is, uh, oops, sorry, a non um, desktop environment. So you just uh, type in Yawart. If you have, make sure you have a uh, Yawart downloaded. So it's uh, Pacman so Pacman does S capital S uh, Yawart. Once it's installed, so it's Yawart Catalyst dash test, and that's as the uh, non-root user. Then open another terminal, for example, in Control F2, and log in as root. Okay, and then go back to your non-root uh, user, uh, for example, Control F1, and then install and follow the instructions. After uh, it's installed, it will give you a bunch of uh, things you have to do and here's what they are add no mode set to your grub config so example nano and then Etsy default grub and then update grub with the command here while you're still in the root terminal uh, get ACPID if you don't have it so pacman dash capital S remember this is in root terminal then uh, from the instructions you have to system control enable ATI event SD and then start it and then catalyst hook and then start it temp links catalyst and then start it still in root uh, QT4 for AMD control center GUI exit root go back to your non root control F1 for example and then sudo ATI config dash dash initial and then sudo reboot don't try to start X um, and that's it I know it's uh, it's kind of long-winded and uh, I think the best way is you just try this out and you'll see the instructions anyway but if you want to take a look at this document I'll upload it um, once you're done and you, you still don't have a desktop environment log in as root and do an ls a or dash la make sure that you do not have x in an rc in the root in your folder uh, your root folder your root user folder and try start X now before doing that uh, make sure you have all the Zorg stuff for example uh, here, let me go into uh, pseudo uh, no sorry pacman dash s x or dash t w m and x t e r m okay I already have those installed make sure those are installed uh, no, and then uh, just do start at X. Now I'm not going to do it here because I already have it running, and you should come up with three windows, and because you downloaded the uh, Tiling Window Manager uh, (TWM), and you should have that running. Now, um, if uh, you see something like uh, after you have your desktop installed, this should work. If you see something like uh, UDMS, uh, DKMS, Radium module, I wish I had it written that down, but it'll be like an error or warning message. Once you have your desktop environment installed, um, you can try just taking out the uh, no mode set. I think it's looking for a, a, a graphical interface, uh, the drivers are. So if you take that out, and if you can boot into your window environment, your desktop environment, then you should be fine. So 
uh, just reverse it. So take that out and then update grub, reboot, and hopefully uh, you'll still have it working. I noticed that um, after removing that, uh, the this here is gnome shell, is uh, these icons before removing it were always messed up. So I had to press Alt F2 to reload the shell. Once I uh, turned off the gnome mode set in grub, uh, I don't have to do that anymore. So I guess it's looking for something else other than uh, the tiling window manager or something, or it's conflicting with X in an RC. So it's Yao Art Catalyst dash test. So if you notice here, Radeon's HD234 series are not supported by this. Okay, you probably have to do the older legacy ones. But if you have above four uh, HD Radeon, five series and up uh, you should be good to go and this downloads all the stuff you need and it will uh, every time you update your kernel so far I've been using this and it uh, it'll spit out some error messages but they still seem to be working okay so that's it for this one uh, sorry I couldn't uh, be of more help but uh, you should get through it just read the instructions okay and that's it for this one thanks so much for watching good luck and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.